Hi, my name is Ken Boss. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing with JN White. What I want to share with you now is some of the key things to consider when you're designing a membrane switch. We're going to need to know what type of surface the membrane switch is applying to, whether it's plastic, whether it's metal. If it's plastic, what type of plastic? If it's metal, whether it's bare metal, aluminum or stainless steel, for example, or whether it's painted. And if it's painted, what type of paint are you actually using? This is critical in determining the type of adhesive that we're going to use on the back side. We call that the mounting adhesive. There are multiple types of adhesives available to us in the marketplace, and the type of adhesive we choose ultimately depends on the surface energy your product is giving off. It's that surface energy that would drive us into an appropriate family of adhesives, and it's that surface energy that we can determine based on the information you provide us in terms of the panel or substrate our membrane switch is adhering to. The other thing that's really critical is that we understand the pitch of the conductors, whether it's a standard 0.100 inch pitch, a one millimeter pitch, a 0.5 millimeter pitch, or something different. It's critical so that we can determine what type of circuit substrate to use in developing your membrane switch. Last but not least, we need to know the environmental conditions that your product is going to need to withstand. Will, there, will it be indoors? Will it be outdoors? Will it be subject to chemical wipe downs? Any sort of cleaning? All of that will help us determine the appropriate material selection, both for the membrane itself, all the layers of the membrane itself, and the graphic overlay or top portion that the user interfaces with.